Tuvalu is a small group of islands situated in the Pacific Ocean. It is a unique island nation with a fascinating history. The islands are made up of nine coral atolls, which are scattered over an area of approximately 500,000 square miles of ocean. The Tuvalu Islands are some of the smallest and most isolated islands in the world, with a population of around 11,000 people. The history of Tuvalu is a story of migration, colonization, and the fight for independence. The history of Tuvalu can be traced back to around 3000 BC when the islands were first settled by Polynesian people. The people who first settled Tuvalu were known as the Lapita people, who were skilled navigators and traders. They brought with them a range of plants and animals, including pigs, dogs, and chickens, which they used for food. The Polynesian people who settled Tuvalu lived a simple life, relying on fishing and agriculture to survive. They developed a complex system of social organization, with chiefs and commoners. They also developed a complex system of navigation and seamanship, which enabled them to travel great distances across the Pacific Ocean. The first European to make contact with the Tuvalu Islands was the Spanish explorer Alvaro de Mendana, who sighted the islands in 1568. However, it was not until the late 18th century that the islands were visited by other European explorers, including the famous British explorer Captain James Cook. In the early 19th century, the islands were visited by whalers and traders who were attracted to the abundant supply of turtle, coconut, and pearl shell. This contact with Europeans had a significant impact on the islanders, with many succumbing to diseases brought by the traders. In 1877, the islands were officially annexed by Britain, becoming part of the British Empire. The islands were administered as part of the British colony of the Gilbert and Ellis Islands, which included the islands of Kiribati. During World War II, the islands of Tuvalu were occupied by the Japanese, who established a military base on the island of Funafuti. The Japanese occupation was a traumatic time for the Tuvalu people, with many forced to work on the Japanese airfield and subjected to harsh treatment. After the war, the islands became a trust territory of the United States, and American influence began to spread throughout the islands. This period saw the introduction of new technologies, including electricity, and the development of infrastructure such as roads and buildings. In the 1970s, the people of Tuvalu began to push for independence, and in 1978, the islands gained their independence from Britain. Since then, the islands have been a self-governing nation, with a democratically elected government. The modern era has seen the islands face a range of challenges, including rising sea levels, climate change, and overfishing. The government has taken steps to address these issues, including promoting sustainable fishing practices and developing renewable energy sources. The people of Tuvalu have a rich culture that is deeply rooted in their history and traditions. The traditional way of life revolves around fishing and subsistence agriculture, with a strong emphasis on community and family ties. The language of Tuvalu is Tuvaluan, which is closely related to the Samoan language. English is also widely spoken on the islands, and it is the language of education and government. The culture of Tuvalu is deeply tied to the natural environment, with traditional practices centered around fishing, farming, and the use of local materials. The people of Tuvalu have a strong connection to the ocean, and fishing is a central part of their way of life. Traditional music and dance are an important part of Tuvaluan culture, with a range of traditional dances that tell stories and reflect the history and traditions of the islands. The music is often accompanied by traditional instruments such as the fala, coconut fiber mat, and the televisi, a percussion instrument made from a hollowed-out log. Tuvalu faces a range of challenges in the modern era, including rising sea levels, climate change, and overfishing. The islands are extremely vulnerable to the effects of climate change, with sea levels rising at a faster rate than the global average. The rising sea levels are causing coastal erosion, saltwater intrusion, and the loss of freshwater resources. This is having a significant impact on the agriculture and fishing industries, which are central to the economy and way of life of the Tuvalu people. Overfishing is also a major concern, with the traditional fishing practices of the Tuvalu people unable to keep up with the demands of a growing population and modern fishing techniques. This has led to a decline in fish stocks and the need for the government to develop more sustainable fishing practices. Today, Tuvalu is a self-governing nation with a democratically elected government. The government is working to address the challenges facing the islands, including the impact of climate change and overfishing. The government is promoting sustainable fishing practices, including the use of fish aggregating devices and the establishment of marine reserves. 
The government is also working to promote renewable energy sources, such as solar power, to reduce the island's reliance on fossil fuels. Tuvalu is also working with international partners to address the impact of climate change, including participating in international climate change negotiations and implementing adaptation strategies to help the islands adapt to the changing environment. Despite the challenges facing the islands, the people of Tuvalu remain resilient and committed to preserving their unique culture and way of life. The islands are a testament to the human spirit and the power of community and tradition in the face of adversity. Today, Tuvalu is a self-governing nation that is working to address the challenges of the modern era while preserving its unique culture and heritage. The islands are a reminder of the power of community and tradition and the importance of preserving our natural environment for future generations.